back at y'all again. Another episode of Shorty Sneaker Conversations. It's episode 35. Let's see if we can get our guest. What's up, Rogers Boy 26? Native. Clean beauty for the win. Welcome, everybody. Just trying to get our guests for episode 35 of Shorty Sneaker Conversations. Lil Hardy. What's up, Sheik and Sneaks? Uh... Chilling. What's up, Native? What's, what's you the cop lately, man? I know you, you know you got some heat over there, man. Oh, man. Trying to sup just EC Erica Craggett. Oh man, what's up, Rich Towns in '85? Uh, Nate, if you got the lightning, my lightning just came today. Yep, 15 years later. Man, I remember seeing them on Nike Talk like these came out on Jumpman 23. Ah, oh, what's up, the corporate fugal? What's up, Leon? Oh, man, trying to get our guest. So there she go. Just sent you the invite, Lil Hardy. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. So what's everybody waiting for lately? You know what I mean? Like, what, what's the next thing? I mean, the people trying to get these sixes. All right, there we go. Welcome. <laughs> what's up? I've, I've never gone live before, so... If I'm doing something wrong, let me know, because I've never done this before, ever. Oh, no, you good. You good. We just going right. to be talking for a little minute. So how are you today? Uh, I'm cool. Um, Yeah, we had, like, some crazy rain the last day. It was, like, crazy flooding up here, but I'm straight. All right. Uh, well, um, whenever I see you post, you know, you'd be like all over the world, literally. So I don't know exactly <laughs> what, what area that you are in. Where where are you at? Uh, I'm right outside Philly. I was born and raised in Philadelphia. So, yeah. Oh, okay. See some pictures of how y'all, where it's like certain streets is just flooded, man. I'm, I'm, yeah. You, you What'd you say? Okay. I said, but you're, you're okay, though? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Well. For everybody joining, welcome everybody. A lot of hard hitters in here. Um, this is, you know, a little hardy. So y'all already know that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, before we get started, I do have to ask, what was the um, what was the most positive thing you took from 2020? That I took from 2020. Um, I guess it's a positive and a negative. Um. Life is short. Life is short. And I mean, you got to seize the day. So that's what I kind of took from it. Like, it's certain opportunities we got, and we're not going after it. And 2020 showed us that, like, at the drop of a dime, like, everything couldn't be taken away from us. Outside couldn't be taken away from us, literally. Um, we had a lot of losses, uh, celebrity losses. I had personal losses. So, I mean, good and bad, life is short. For sure, for sure. Okay, okay. Well. I didn't even say hi to none of y'all, but what's up? Sorry. Yeah. I'm like, I do not like talking in front of people, and I literally can't see y'all. So, I guess that might make it better. But, yeah, I'm, yeah. like, completely, like, yeah, that's not, that's not my lane. <laughs> I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, doing this. Um, I know, you know, we had talked about that in the, the message, you know, the, the uh, DM. So it's, it's all good. We're just talking sneakers. I mean, you got a lot of them. So, you know. I, I, I really don't. Like, I don't know which I consider a lot, but yeah. Whatever. I'm I'm seeing the 11s. I'm seeing those ones that they only came out with for y'all with the pink laces. I'm jealous. <laughs> I want them. My wife got them. You know, you got some stuff now. Them 11s, those 11s actually are from 2008 release, I think. Or was that 2009? Those are my beaters. Those, like, yeah. 
See, that's how you know it's real because you know what I'm saying? Eleven's beaters, you know what I'm saying? Come on. You you yeah. you got some All right, well, why don't we just um why don't we start off with uh what what did you wear today? What did I wear today? So I'm mm -hmm. a school counselor, so I wore some work I don't even know where those work shoes are, but um I wore some uh some work shoes. They like loafers okay. or something like that. <laughs> I had okay. Them on. Hi, for sure. Yeah, we got dress business casual. So on Fridays we get the dress down. So I had I had a, a lay for tomorrow, but school's canceled. So yeah, I'm not wearing any sneaks tomorrow. Well, sure. Not to work. Yet. Yeah. Sure, sure. All right. Well, why don't we dive into you know some sneaker origins? What was your earliest sneaker moment or, or memory? Um, the earliest. I can't pinpoint like an earliest moment, but I will say like I got some older cousins, female cousins that like were always wearing some like tough sneakers. They were into like the 5411 Reeboks. I always thought those were like real tough as a kid growing up. And then my older brothers, they always had some nice sneakers. Um, so like I'm still a tomboy, but yeah, my mom was, was always trying to put me in some skirts, but I wanted to put on what my brothers had on. So that's those like the earliest memories, I guess. Um, one that might stand out for me is, uh, remember Lady Foot Locker? I don't know even know if that's like open anymore, but not, not in my area. Um, I went in there with my mom one day after school and I saw these four teens and like, I had to beg her like, please. Please, I need these. And, and I remember she agreed to buy them. And we had like this old cell phone, like the, remember the block cell phone. And I called home to tell my brother I was getting them. And I thought I was like so fresh for the longest. Like the paint came off, everything. But like that was like seventh, sixth grade, sixth grade. I remember that. So yeah. Right. Yeah, Lady Foot Locker is it, still around, but I mean, they've kind of phased it out. We used to have them, you know, I'm, I live in North Carolina, but I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. And we used oh, okay. to have, but yeah, it was one here that recently closed within the last six months in Raleigh, about an hour away from me. So, um, yeah, okay. Well, what was the shoe, you know, the shoe that kind of, you know what I'm saying, brought you into it? Was it that 14 or was it another shoe that kind of, you know, just started it? Um, I guess I should add this answer, but I really don't, there wasn't like a shoe for me. Okay. I I always say like <laughs> in Philly like girls used to wear Keds. That wasn't the shoe for me, but I know my mom couldn't always afford to get me the shoes that I wanted. So I remember always taking care of these white Keds like every day after school, like washing the laces and scrubbing them down. But the shoe, I will say my first Grail was Space Jam, like the Elevens. That was I had to have them, and that's. That's those. That was the first time I was ever able to buy them. All um, right, for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, I know you said, you know, even though I know better just by your posts, you know, you don't have a lot of sneakers or whatever, but do you consider yourself a, a collector? Like, you know, how do you look at yourself in this? Um, I call myself a sneaker lover, sneaker collector part-time. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't really have, like, Man, when I tell you L's, like that's that's might as well be my middle name. Like all I take is L's, and for me, re like I'm used to getting my sneakers from like going in the store, seeing something I like, or knowing it's about to come out on release day, and standing in line and getting it that way. So for me, it's kind of like I don't want to pay all this money for resale. So I feel like if I took an L, I just took the L. I mean, if I could find something comparable in terms of price. Cool, but I'm not spending four hundred dollars for for some dunks that I used to always buy when I was young. Like to me, it's just that's not me. Like I like sneaks because I like sneaks and I like to wear them. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I got all this money in my closet. Like that's that's just not me. I appreciate that. I, I really do. All right, he now said it's in her blood. What's up, cuz? <laughs> All right, so with you being from, from Philly, you know, Philly is always one of the places like, you know, back, like when I started collecting, I would always hear about, 
how Philly had a lot of spots with like the vintage stuff and you still, you know, all the happenings, Mitchell and Ness there. Uh, you know, y'all got the 76ers, y'all had Iverson, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I got Bubba Chuck, I got Bubba Chuck one today. Okay. Oh, I remember that slam. I probably got it back here somewhere. So you probably do. You got a whole bunch of OG stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you do you mess with any of his shoes? You know, you a 76ers fan or Iverson fan? Or... Yeah, I got a couple fair questions. Um, I don't even see them. Matter of fact, I'll pull these out. I always put these out just because we had this mall. We still have it, but it was called Shetland Mall. And lie to you not, I feel like it was more sneaker stores in that mall than, than it was like stores, period. And I live like not too far from there. So I would just always go and window shop and see if I could find something. So one time I picked up these, like, I don't remember when I picked up these questions, but I know I got them for like 50 bucks, like 50, 60 dollars. Um, this was like years ago. I probably that mall they tore it down and they redid it. So I probably still was in college. I graduated college in like 2011. So yeah, that's when I picked them up. And I got a couple more pair. Um, I wore uh, grade school size. So when they came out with the answers and come in my size, I, I'm still hurt. Like I I wanted a pair. My brother got those for Christmas when we were like I probably was like nine or ten. He got like some black and gold pair, like he wanted. Like I guess that might have been a grill pair for him. He on here, I don't know. But um, yeah, Philly in the building. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love I love AI. Like what you? If you was alive during uh the the finals with the Sixers and the Lakers, like yeah, you definitely wanted a pair of Iversons. Um. I never got none, any back then, so I try to collect sneakers that I couldn't get back then. Um, my mom did the best she could, but yeah, she couldn't. Uh, she she couldn't get both all of her kids the sneaks, and that's cool. So I just try to go back and get what I I wanted when I was younger. Now I don't want you to look me sideways, but I am a Lakers fan. So 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 you know what. <laughs> Yo, and then, you know, Philly fans, we die hard. So, you know, like, uh, who was it? Destiny Child, they try to come out halftime show. We straight booed like they had Laker jersey on. You remember that? Remember. But, like, as I got older, and, like, Kobe, like, yo, couldn't stand Kobe. But as I got older, like, I understood athletes as, like, people. So I, mm. I had much respect for, like, like Kobe. That still hurt piece for me. Like, but, yeah, yeah um, yeah, like I no disrespect. Like I I respect the <laughs> Lakers, but yeah, when at that time you and Philly, man, you was a Sixers fan. No, nah, I remember like my friends and I, we used to go to Carabana in Toronto every year. And I remember two thousand one specifically, like every fifth person had a blue, black, or white Iverson jersey. <laughs> Everywhere. And this was Toronto, like y'all had just beat Vince Carter in Toronto in the second <laughs> round, like everybody had on an Iverson jersey, you know? Right. Some dudes, great. like, that jersey was one of the most prevalent jerseys uh, right before the throwback era. You know, everybody had an Iverson jersey. So <laughs> it was the first best jersey I ever had. So I still have it somewhere. But, you know, love uh, love Iverson. Um, okay, well, you know, with you being from Philly, you know, um, where was your favorite place back in the day? to cop, you know, your sneakers. I know you were um, talking about calling. Was it was it that spot or pretty much uh <coughs> when I was like younger, yeah. When I got a little bit older, um I probably always pronounce his store name wrong, but it was I called it Ubique. Um but I would go down there, Olympia on South Street, like South Street used to have some heat back in the day. You could just go in there and any store on South Street sneaker store and you would get something. Um, it was a store on Chestnut Street. Like when I got to be like college age, I would go downtown South Street. But like high school, younger, it would show him more. Or like the ad, <laughs> Shelton. Yeah. Okay. Now everybody always looks at me sideways when I ask this. Uh, but where is your favorite place to get sneakers currently? Now I know we all take a lot of L's because I've taken more this year than I ever have. Ever, I've been have. Doing this. Ever, ever have. I don't. 
Oh, my brother said the gallery. Yeah, we did used to hit up the gallery for sneaks. Uh, I forgot about that. It's not even called it. What do they call it now? The, the fashion district. Um, I haven't been there in years, but I'm be honest. I don't have a favorite. I'm I'm tired of all of it. Like I I hate I hate like just having the feeling like I'm not about to get these. Relationship with sneakers, I just keep going back to them every time. But I try sneakers, and I try um, pivot finish line. Yeah, just the 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 foot sites. I try those, but in store, I don't even have anything. I don't have a favorite. I got you. I, I was a store manager for Hibbit Sports for a year and a half. And maybe about two months in, they came out with the raffle stuff. And we had to enter the raffle, you know, like customers. I never mm -hmm. won Hibbit raffle. So <laughs> even as the manager, yo. Or manager. So I used to have to hope. We used to have a two-hour window. I used to have to hope that dudes wouldn't come. And, and, and like, man, I hope this 11 and a half make it to 11. So I, I can, you know, 11 o'clock so I can get it. You know what I mean? And then we weren't able to get our discount. It was it was like a whole thing. The resellers have, have affected more than just, you know, mm -hmm. affected so much. Because, I mean, um, after Hibbit, I, I did my third step with Foot Locker. And there, when the black and red 11s came back again, they was like, yeah, y'all can get them, but y'all can't get the discount. I'm like, man, I'm here 50 hours a week. I can't get a discount. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh man! So yeah, it's it's, it's been all bad. People think, oh, well, you work at a shoe store, so you get. I'm like, nah, man, it ain't. It used to be like that. Yeah, ain't like that. Right. Uh, a homie of mine, he was a manager of different uh, sneaker stores. He got a lot of heat from back in the day, but uh, as a matter of fact, he from Cleveland or Columbus, one of those. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah. All right. Well, um, we were talking about sports. You know, we touched on Iverson. Um, sports is kind of what influences um, some of my sneaker purchases and habits. But what is a, a big influence for you on, yeah, I'm going to get that sneaker? Like, you know, is it colorway? Is it any nostalgia with it? Like, what what influences you to cop? The nostalgia for me, for sure. Um, like, somebody, what did I just buy? Uh, dang it, where is it? My fault. <laughs> hey, it's of course, all good. like after it's over, I'm gonna I'm gonna find it. But it was like, and it's uh, so many, you know. No, it's not that. It's uh, what do we used to call it back? <laughs> I can't think. I'm like on the spot. What do we used to call them? Uh, what is the name? Oh, I feel. Good. Dumb. With the, uh, the name for it is trainers, but we didn't call them trainers. We called them um. Daria, what is going on? Forget it. Whatever. Anyway, it's, uh, you <laughs> it's a work. nostalgia for me. It's a nostalgia for me. Like, um, when I bought some up tempo, was they definite? I remember my brother having a pair of those. Um, so I went cop because I'm just like I never. My mom didn't buy them for me, but I always wanted them. Maybe I just never made it known. And then I went and copped, uh, why am I like drawing a blank, like of everything? Oh, so, uh, my Bacons, bruh, like for me, Air Bacons is like, it reminds me of so much of my childhood. So yeah, like it's the nostalgia for me. Yeah, I'm watching, uh, I have the red ones with the yellow laces, but so the blue I. The blue I ones, yeah. The they only retro the OG blue and black once in 2000. Mm -hmm. I'm watching yeah, it like 350, man. I just can't bring myself to pay it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I try to stock those on eBay. Yeah, I haven't found a pair. It, either they're not in my size or they're rid ridiculous price. So, yeah. Yeah. Or I, I can find. I can even find pairs from '97 because I I had a pair from back then but you know they've crumbled they've died I, I just you know I'm so cheap I can't just see pants $400 I'm only going to wear it once or twice a year anyway like is it even worth it so I'm with you, you know, I'm cheap man if, if I'm going to be paying a lot of money I'm going to have to wear it like I got some shadow ones coming because I've never had the shadow one like 
I might wear them bitches for a week straight, other than the days I have to work the Converse. <laughs> right. I wear it, you because know, I, I want them. So, um, right, man. right, I got you. Uh, you know, my brother said I'm getting. I am getting old because I still can't remember the name of sneakers. I was pretty, you know, it's been a long day. I said, I'm a little tired. So. Yeah. Um, well, right now, what, what's the most recent uh, cop? Like, what, what's the most recent thing you had got? Oh, uh, I don't know if I know how to pronounce the name of these dang old sneakers. These Ozelia Adidas, like the most comfortable sneaker. I've, one of the most comfortable sneakers I've ever worn. Like, Oh, this okay. Was, this was just a cop, just because I'm like obsessed with leopard print. So that was a that was a recent cop. Like uh, that sneaker that I'm thinking of is a recent cop, but I can't even. I don't know. I have no like organization to like my sneakers. Like once they're in this room, they just in here. Like I don't, I don't really do the most. So I feel right. bad because I'm gonna find it like as soon as the live is over. <laughs> well, message it to me. You know what I'm saying? We'll we'll get it. All right. Um. Now, obviously, it's a lot of L's, and the pandemic has kind of put the shoe game in some sort of compressor where shit sells out that wouldn't sell out before. You and I both know that. Everybody in these comments know that too. But other than that, what's the biggest change or adjustment that you've had to make post pandemic with the sneakers, or have you had to make? I mean, not getting my sneakers. I before that, before I remember, right? Like, so I work in a school, so they sent us home for two weeks, right? And I remember being on Nike, and it was like a pair of ones, like in all these different colors that I didn't want, and they sat for so long, right? And then all of a sudden, they were gone, and the next thing you know, like everything just started going, like things that were just sitting, gone, like gone like little stupid stuff like gone like for instance i can't find a pair of chucks in my size like gone like pair what? i can't i can't find a pair of chucks in my size online All right. yeah what black and white yeah you the plug right dude you the plug with the converse is right <laughs> hey man i mean what what uh what color what's what size i got one some black and white chucks like hot top black and white chucks i cannot find in my size whatsoever what what size are you uh, a five in Chuck's over five men's. Five men's. Let me just check and see because I'll just say company wide, like it, it's been. I figured out like only girls want them, and and and, and it's been crazy. Like they've been selling like Jordan Eleven to Jordan ones. Like <laughs> right now, the, the Converse store, um, all, all of it, it's like women's tens. It's like. Bigger sizes, like I, yeah. It's been, I figure they must be on TikTok or something to make the kids want them. They they gone, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. The Chucks is, is gone, like oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'll definitely look into that for you, but um, yeah, it, it, it's it's for me to. I always tell the story on the show, but the the Flint the Flint thirteen let me know shit was different because when the pandemic started, the court purple ones you could get them. The DMP sixes, you could get them. The original, the silver tongue fire red fives, you could you could get them. Um, but when the flints came, I'm like, oh, it's full of family, you know, whatever. They'll be able to be had. And once I couldn't get them, and that's a shoe I refused to pay resale for. So I have all the other flints. I have the ninety eight, the 05, and the ten. But I wanted the twenty for one to have because it looks the most like the original. And I wanted to do a YouTube video where I had all four of them together. Yeah. But I just can't pay more than I mean one ninety is really too much. <laughs> one fifty like how they was in ninety eight. But right, right, right. You know, I just I can't pay two foot two fifty for that shoe. I just can't do it. Just can't yeah, do it. I agree because I I remember buying a pair of uh, well, I call them bunnies, but the Jordan eights. Mm -hmm. I remember getting them. From Joy Buster Brown, show ammo. It was seventy five dollars. So now it's like when I'm getting sneaks in my size, and they like one seventy. That's still like ooh, but I want these. So yeah, once they go like over two hundred, I'm just like, do you really want them? Ah, I don't know. <laughs> and see, you know, I have to watch what I say about 
you know, Nike since they own Converse and everything. Yeah. But they click with it because, see, if you notice, when they did the remastered thing, they came out with the extended, you know, grade school sizes where you could get up to a men's nine and a half and they only be 140 like a grade school shoe. 140 is really too much for grade school anyway. But yeah. yeah sorry. Um, now it's just women's. So it's like, it's not even about grade school or extended. It's just women's. So right. you, you got to pay that men's price because it's an adult shoe. Like, right. I just, I'm used to the grade school being no more than 110. That was 85 for a long time. But went yep. to 110, you know, men's being 130, 140. Like, that's the era I'm from. I know I sound old. Dang. No. Get off my yard, get off my lawn, old man. But I miss them days. Why y'all laughing at my? I wear something that had the women's. God, and I wear six. I wear six in men's. My fault. But in Chucks, I've always just is always been a problem. Can't you Jeez. know? Y'all laughing at my <laughs> shoe size. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Um, we'll do some basic questions. You know, like when you meet a dude, it's like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite shoe? Uh, my favorite shoe uh, that I own. One that you own and one that you don't. Um, my favorite shoe. I feel weird just saying is those elevens because I don't know if they're my favorite shoe, but it could, I guess yeah. But I always in a, I know that this might sound crazy, but I've answered this question in like the little um. When you put like the question on your your stories, people always ask. I said this pair of chucks I used to love. I've taken them everywhere, like Great Wall of China, Colombia, everything. I love those chucks, but I had to throw them down in the trash. They would beat. Um, that that and um, a pair of threes. I had I bought like in two thousand like ten, eleven I think. Favorite, um, and one that I don't have. I guess that's more like of a grill. I don't know if that's like a favorite shoe, but uh okay, next question, but you about to answer oh. that. Oh, oh my fault. What's the question? No, I was just about to ask you, you know, do you have my a brother keeps friend? saying air monarchs, he's such a grow up, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. What's the question? No, I was just about to ask you, you said holy grail. That was gonna be my next question. I'm like, do you have a holy grail? You know? Um Sure, you just haven't been asked. Air Max, the elephant, what's that, like Atmos? I think um, that's what they are. Oh yeah, my Air God. Max. For one, Air Max ones are like my favorite silhouette of Air Maxes. Um, but if I could get those, I don't know. I, I'm not going to make no promises that I'm not going to buy no sneakers no more. But <laughs> that would be like, I'm, I'm like looking at them like all the time. I don't know. That might be a pair I'm not sure I, I would wear because I think I would be so shocked that I even had them. So, yeah, that's those for me. Fair, Fair enough. All right. Um, what's the shoe that you have that you need to undies? <laughs> a lot, man. <laughs> I swore I, I had all these plans for the summer and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. and didn't do anything. Um, I got some foams, the uh, Volt ones. I got some the Sixes. Uh, the what you call it? I yo, I'm literally got a brain fart for everything. Like, I can't, I can't think today. Sevens, I got some Harachis. I just got a whole bunch of sneakers that I haven't. I'm just that. I, I just my thing is like I like to, I like to wear my sneakers, but I like to wear them with a purpose. Sure. So I don't want, yeah, I don't want to um, throw them on and wear them to the market. I don't want to undust them that way, like throw them on and go to the market. I want to nah. like, yeah. And see, for me, because I'm so outfit conscious and I'm all about the outfit uh, architecture, I'll ice the shoe until I find the right thing to wear with it. It's like, man, I might not have, right, I might right. not have much, but I'm going to find something to go with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I'm you do good it. with that, though. You do good with the outfit and, um, uh, not saying Miss New Jack. Well, she does good with the outfits too. What is her? I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I'm really like tripping today. I can't think. I can't even think of your names. Yeah, hey, it's a lot yeah. of out there, but I'll be saying, you know, you know, you be doing it up too. You know, uh, thank you. 
You be right. everywhere, all over the globe, man. You know. So, all right. Well, look. Is there a shoe you have that you won't wear? Like a shoe that you just go keep dead stock forever? Like, yeah, I'm never wearing these. Like, uh, the anniversary uh, 11s. I I still haven't worn those. Like, I don't know if I'm ever going to wear those at all. Ever. Uh, the ones that came out in December. The um. Oh, the Jubilees. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Like they just still on ice. Like I, I have no desire to wear them. I just wanted them because, um, when the Space Jams came out, like they re-released them. Like I think that was like 2016. Yep. I think it was some nines that came out that year. So every, yeah. yeah. Um. So every every Christmas, I'm always asking for Jordans for Christmas from my husband. So I wasn't going to draw, so I just picked the the nines. So when they came out, I was like, those 11s back there, they beaters. The uh, soul basically coming off them jaws. So I, I just wanted them just to have another pair. But yeah, they on ice indefinitely. Okay. Okay. Now, what's the shoe that everyone loves? You know, other sneakerheads you might know or other people in the life that you might know that you just don't mess with? Uh... What is a shoe that everyone loves that I don't mess with? Um, I mean, I can't mess with everything. I don't go crazy over dunks because I used to wear dunks a lot and I like gave them away, put some more. So I'm not crazy to get dunks. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. But like I don't I don't frown upon it. Like if I if I get my hands on it, if it's a colorway that I like and I get them cool. If I take an L on them, it is what it is. Yeah. Being a, a dunk guy before the hype this year and last year have been tough because the dunk is the shoe that I have the most like it's the style that I have the most of, um, one silhouette in my collection. Mm -hmm. And uh I only have one new pair. Uh, I hit on the ugly ducklings, the veneers, uh, oh, like no. But everything else has been an L ever, ever since. <laughs> Yo, I, oh, I don't really like the mid dunks, but everything has been an L since those. So, you know, all of my dunks are old, either from between 1999 to like most of them 2008. And then, you know, it's a few after that, but not a lot. Yeah, so. a few after that. yeah I get you. A lot of people said Yeezy. So I was I was against Yeezy for, not against. I just, at that time, I wasn't paying that amount for sneakers. So, yeah, I didn't buy Yeezys for a minute. But, no, I, I, I got a couple pair of Yeezys now. But, I, yeah, I was I was sick on Yeezy Day. I didn't cop anything. So, yeah. Okay. Now, we've talked about L's on this show. What's the hardest L that you feel like you've taken since, we could say since pandemic or, or even before that, you know? Man, it's just all been lumped into one big thing. Um, the, the I think I pronounced her name wrong all the time, but the Alele May, the 14 that just came out, mm -hmm. I wanted those because... In the beginning of my story, like I got those 14s when I was in Lady Foot Locker. So I mm -hmm. wanted them like that women's release. Like I got them from Lady Foot Locker when I was a kid. Like, bruh, I really in that green. Oh, man, I really wanted those. I used like so many accounts. <laughs> Had my husband with multiple accounts. I swore I was just gonna get an easy. I don't know why I swore I was gonna get an easy W, but yep, L on I probably had like five or six accounts. L's. Gotcha. Oh yeah, that's still like I, I'm still. That's one I'm gonna pay resale for because I I just want those. Yeah. Got, gotcha. All right. Somebody, you got a bot? Hell no, I don't no bot. No. <laughs> oh man, what, let me ask you: Do you have any regrettable uh, passes or purchases? Um. I've had regrettable purchases and I've given them away. I can't even think of anything right now. Um, passes. 
I would say any sneaker that I wanted that was sitting before pan pre-pandemic, yay. Those are regrets because it's just like, bro, you could have copped them and had them. And now you're looking for them and you got to pay triple the price just because. So. Yeah, my biggest regret is probably – Probably the Shattered Backboard, the first ones, because I could have got them with a discount. And I never thought that would be unattainable in a $2,000 shoe. But that's another, that's a tragic tale for another another time, because I'll be here talking about it for 30 or 40 minutes. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, how, how does your, um, how does your family feel about your relationship with sneakers? <laughs> my relationship with sneakers. Hey. Um yeah, my, my sneaker relationship, yeah, that's the that's a whole other relationship. <laughs> uh, my husband, he supports it. He just bought me a pair of like ones that came out the other day. Like, it was just some mid johns that he just caught for me. Um, so he supports my relationship. Uh my brother, he all here now I'm talking a whole bunch of trash, but he supports my relationship. Uh, my sister-in-law on here and talking about she she still loves me. Yeah, they everybody um, that knows me since forever knows that like I've always loved sneakers. So they kind of tolerate me. Like one one time I was away, um, I went to Mexico and I had a delivery for sneakers and um, the corporate frugal. I don't, I really don't even know her real name, but she's so genuine. Um, she got she has that whole uh petition for FedEx. So I had horror stories with them. So I'm just like asking my best friend, like, yo, can you please go to my house and get my sneakers? Because I'm going I'm be hurt if somebody because they'll just drop it in front of my door and the way my block is, like if you walk down the block, you're literally on like the same level as like the doors so if somebody leaves a package outside your door they literally can just walk up the steps and take it so they'll just leave it outside the door so i like begged her to go get my steak school they understand like yeah <laughs> my my uh toxic relationship he said she had us out here in texas taking her to outlets looking at all the snakes <laughs> <laughs> yo i don't care i just went to mexico and i was i was in the mall looking at sneaks <laughs> hey every time i travel I, I have to sneakers are like uh you know a souvenir or something you know, you exactly. can keep that. i need to see exactly yeah well i was going to ask you you know how your husband felt about it but you already done, done told me um yeah. he said I, he, he says i have too many though but he he supports me though okay he's not into sneakers at all like that or um <laughs> He has his grails, like I've he got sixes, are those sixes? Yeah, the um infrareds, those sixes, right? He got those, he has a pair of nines, um, he has a pair of tens, he's a tens fan. He had so like all of his girl the ones that like he liked when he was a kid, um, he either bought or I bought for him. So right. he He's not really looking for nothing, like, and he doesn't get like mo. He don't care about multiple of the same silhouette, um, but he he won't even throw them on. He'll throw on some bands if we go out. So like, yeah, he he likes sneakers, but bro, my my extra room is a closet from <laughs> my shoes. I don't have that many. Like, it's shoes and clothes in here and a desk. Like, this is my workspace. But he just has like the closet in our room. So yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh, he said six nines and tens, best Jordans ever made. Uh, that's what he said. Okay, okay. Um. Well, you know, as we wrap up, just a few more. Um, what direction do you see your collection going in the future? Um, I'm probably still going to get those nostalgia pairs, like if I could find them. I was just looking for some Deion Sanders the other day. Like, I tried to collect anything that I used to like when I was younger or that I gave away for whatever reason I went back. It's probably going to be that. Um, these releases are like, I like the, the re releases, but 
Uh, I just don't like hype sneakers. It's like a turn off for me. Um, Cause I used to like being the person like that had the sneaker that I want, but everybody didn't want them per se. So yeah, I'll probably do that. Okay. Okay. Now it is September 2nd. Oh. What's on radar next? Is it the Shimmer 4s? Is it, you know, are you looking at those or anything else upcoming? Uh, What's that coming out? Uh, what are those, the sevens? Are those sevens? I always get sevens and sixes confused. Well, it's the six, but it's in a seven colorway. Oh. It's the four, oh, six. That's what it is. Yeah, those. Okay. Um, I do like, I like fours, but they hurt. <laughs> uh, so I do like that colorway. So I'm not sure if I'm gunning for those, but yeah, I like the six and the seven colorway. Yeah. But I'm not hyped. Like I'm, I'm not I'm hyped to even get them though. Like I would like to, but it's not one of those that I'm about to use six accounts to get. I'm not doing it. Got you, got you. Okay. okay. Yeah. The board, thank you, sneaker boss. That's who I couldn't think of you, sis. When you were like, you like to put together your outfits and do, I was thinking of her, like sneaker vibes only. She always, she always got her outfits. They always so cute. That's who I was thinking of. My fault. <laughs> Right. See, see, I told you we'll come back. You know what I mean? So it's good. It's good. All right. So before we wrap up, do you have any questions for me? Um. Well, I guess I know how you got your sneaks, but like, so you more of like an OG collector, basically. Uh, when you say OG, like OG shoes, or like I've been doing it a long time, like OG, like that. Probably both, for real, for real. Uh, both. Um, I, you know, if something comes out that um, that I either had or always wanted, I, I will try to get it. Um, some shoes come out that I like, like the Black and Infrared Six. That got me into sneakers back in the day. So, anytime that shoe is released, I've had to get um, at least one pair. Most of the time, I try to get two. Got you. Got you. Yeah. The Air Max BW, the Persian Violet and Black, that's another one. Anytime it comes out, I have to get it. You have to get it? Yeah. So, you know. But yeah, that that's that's I guess you could say that. I mean, I feel like you're you're the same. We're from the same era. A lot of these people in the comments yeah. from the same era. You know, yeah. you get a pair of dunks for as cheap as twenty dollars back in them days, you know, you go to Foot Locker on the right day. Now they three, four hundred dollars. So you know for some dunks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, hey, even the Jays, like, you remember, until the countdown packs and the fusions, Jordans used to cost oh, what they cost back in the day. Yeah, the fusions and the countdown packs this had them start making the Jordans 150, then they went up yeah. to 160, 170, then 190. Yeah. Now they're about to be So <laughs> the Jordan 170, that's a crime, man. That's an $80 shoe. Yes, I remember. Shoot. Yeah, you know, you know, they, Three Jordan ones like Jordan twos, you know what I'm saying? And nobody yeah. fucking like oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got a, I got a couple of Jordan twos. That's yeah. a, that's another favorite of mine. Yeah, because nobody's on it. And that's the thing. When I see Jordan twos come out, or I see like they're on sale for somewhere else, I always cop those because it's like a lot of people don't like that silhouette. I love that silhouette. Like always had. So yeah. Yes, yeah, 1987. I need it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. All right. Well. Any other questions or anything else you want to add before we, uh, you know, close it off? Uh, no, I didn't. I done ran my mouth more than I thought it was. <laughs> but <laughs> no. <nah. laughs> uh, nah, I mean, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, for sure, honored. Uh, but yeah, nah, not really. Nah, man, this is, this has really been fun. Uh, appreciate you. You know, um, Step out of your comfort zone a little bit to do this, you know what I'm saying? And talk, even though you know, you know everybody in the comments, so you know. But uh, thank you, thank you so much for uh, for being on here. I really appreciate it. Of course, no problem. All right, now I'll, uh, I'll be in touch. I'm gonna let you know about them chucks too. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, please. No, that's uh, serious. Like they, they like one of my favorite sneaks. I don't care what nobody said. I could be basic. I like I like chucks. <laughs>
Yeah, okay, so uh, men's five, women's seven, that, that size. Yes. All right, I got you. I got you. Well, I'll be in touch. Thanks for everybody for joining. Sorry I didn't get right. to say hi. Hi, you know. everybody. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Joe, well, um, I'll be in touch with you, and I'll see all the rest of y'all soon. Peace. All right, bye.